Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class Mark's Path. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertain you, and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> oh, for sure. Living your living living your li you're living by yourself, too. That's way too big. Hmm, well, I'll think about it. I don't want you to help me with my own mess. Yeah, fair. I'll see you in class tomorrow, then. Mm-hmm. Wait! <laughs> I'm right here, dude. Chill! Sorry, I just remembered to ask you something. Do you know if moose sweat a lot? Uh, pardon? It's something that came up in another conversation. Okay, well, I don't think they sweat or smell any more than any other gym beasts around this town. I did hear a curious rumor about giraffes, though. What was that? Yeah, nothing important. Take care. Because they got, what, long tongues? Uh-huh. He took some... There's a damn van again. <laughs> you took some time getting familiar with the area before heading home. It only occurred to you that getting lost was easier than you thought it would be in this town after Mark left. I'm beginning to wonder if this takes place in the exact same town. <laughs> the exact same town as a place to call home. I mean... I mean, these characters are built very, very similarly. Like JoJo characters. Or, you know, Astartes from Warhammer. I should have asked him for a tour. Mm, maybe tomorrow he can show me places I missed. You let you let yourself fall you let yourself fall onto the couch in a heap. Looking over the boxes did not help your building sensation of fatigue. But I had to make do. You sit up, suppressing a groan of complaint. Let's see, the books go in my room, the cleaning supplies in the kitchen, the duster and the vacuum should go. Ah, and done. You plop down onto the couch again. This place looks so much better now. Goodness me, I'm feeling accomplished. I'm not even talking to myself like a weirdo. Good day, good day. <laughs> Your self-congratulations were punctuated by a rumbling from your stomach. Right. Dinner. Let's make it happen. Gah. Just as I, just as I said I stopped, I did it again. Oh, whatever. Upon looking at your newly purchased bread and peanut butter, it occurred to you how sad your diet was, especially compared to how Mark treated you, you, treated you to food. I swear I'll get some proper food in here. But right now, no point in complaining. Peanut butter sandwich it is. You made yourself a disappointing sandwich and ate it without further complaint. When you were done, you headed to the bathroom and cleaned your teeth. Mm, brush, 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 brush. And that'll do for today. He flopped onto the bed. Let's just start studying soon. Music appreciation seems like a lot of fact, a lot of facts to remember. Some with prose poems. Same with prose poems. But eh, tired. I don't remember any of it right now. Even if I tried to study, I'll just go to sleep. The gentle darkness of another silent night come over you. You were yawning before you knew it. But one last concern tugged at your mind before you shut your eyes. Mark? Huh, what a handful. But he isn't so bad all the same. He certainly makes a day interesting. Meanwhile... Hmm. Him again? What's his problem? It's me. Mm-hmm. All right. Huh. Weird. Wild. Mm. Morning, world. Here I am again. So tired. Not sure what time it was, but you grab you grabbed your phone to you grabbed your phone to find out. Six a.m. It's still early. Oh, okay. Let's see. Page two will be Mark. Page one. Shall be Lears. Lars. There we go. Perfect. Yay. Alright. Should I sleep some more? Maybe not. I don't want Mark to come here and disturb my sleep again. You decided to stay awake, so you got up and made your bed before heading to the bathroom. You undressed yourself and headed into the shower, enjoying the stream of warm water. I guess I remember to undress myself today. Undressed or not, I wonder why why we need to shower every day. I personally don't really like to shower that often. Drying myself is a pain, that's why. I'm so jealous of humans. They don't have fur, so they can dry easily. Once I start hopping into the shower, there's no stopping me. I could easily stay in the shower for 30 minutes. I wonder if the others take that long in the shower. I only take about 15 minutes. You showered with these with you showered with these shower thoughts lingering in your mind. I could just get too hot. <laughs> I love showers though. So, what's next? Let's see. I don't really remember what happened yesterday. God, Henry, think, think! 
He came here really he came here really early and asked me to go out with him. I accepted and we went to eat donuts. I ate pretty good donuts, especially the crawler. Then we headed to the playground. It was really wild. I couldn't believe I went to a swing while knowing that I have motion sickness. How embarrassing. Oh. Hmm. Something did happen when we were watching the sky, but I couldn't place it. We went to Bublix and he treated me to food. Check. Uh, there's probably more, but I don't remember. Oh well, I guess that's not a big deal. I should get ready for school now. I showered, but I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Maybe I should get something to eat now. And why am I talking to myself? You decided to go to the kitchen and serve yourself a nice breakfast. You sat down after you got your food. I wouldn't say it's a nice breakfast. I'd say it's a breakfast. <laughs> like what you did back home. You grabbed your phone and started eating your breakfast. Usually if I did the, usually if I did this when my parents are around, I'd be scolded like it was a big deal. Ah, living alone is great. You checked your you checked around the internet, browsing cat pics, some random memes that you weren't interested in, and other stuff. Other stuff. One thing caught your attention. The Giant of Harisu, posted by some random guy on his travel blog. What is this? You read more regarding the giant of Harisu. So, apparently it's a phenomenon that's been happening in a village called Harisu. Interesting. I want to I wanna know what that is. I'm going to look that up after this. Your phone rang while you were reading the article. A new message from Mark? I wonder what's up. Hey, Henry. It's a reminder. It's, it's going to rain later, so bring an umbrella. Unless you want to share the same umbrella with me. I'm totally cool with, not bring, with you not bringing one, then. But in all seriousness, bring one. It'd be annoying if I have to share it. He thinks I'm annoying? I'm hurt. You think I'm annoying? That's sad. <laughs> That's not what I said. Just bring one, jeez. Will do. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. I don't think I have to reply anymore. I gotta finish eating and start heading to school. I'm pretty sure that's everything. You opened the door, ready to head outside. But you stopped halfway when you saw the umbrella by the TV. Well, almost forgot. You grabbed the umbrella and put it inside your bag. I'm pretty sure that's everything. After making sure you had everything you needed, you headed outside and locked the door. Ah, today's a beautiful day. I wonder if I can hang out with Mark today, or maybe the other guys. I don't know. What time is it anyway? You checked the time on your phone. It showed 7.20 on the screen. Maybe it's still too early. Ah! You shouldn't walk around and play with your phone at the same time, young man. Who? Ah. Oh, you're Mr. Thornton. I'm flattered you remembered my name. Sorry, I, I, just, I bumped into you again. I was checking the time. It's all right. No need to apologize. I'm quite busy right now, so I'll be on my way. See you around, Henry. Ah, okay. One second, Kai. God, I bumped into him twice. He's right. I shouldn't check my phone while I'm walking. I should have stopped. I should have stopped for a bit. You put your phone inside your pocket and started heading to school, being careful not to bump into someone anymore. I feel so tired suddenly. Ugh, school. Man, I'm so tired. I wanted to sleep more. Why does it look fun in animes and games, but in reality it's not? Ugh. I'd like to hear some more of your groaning, Henry. What? Judging from that voice... Cats, knock it off! Judging from that voice and what it was about... There was only one suspect you had in mind. Coach Gill. Bingo! Ah, Coach Gill! It's only 7 in the morning. You look pretty tired. I wanted to sleep more. That won't do. You should exercise more. But I'm tired! Or would you rather I give you a special treatment, hmm? I'm pretty sure it'd wake you up if you know what I mean. He smirked and proceeded to touch your palm. <laughs> he took a step back before he did. Ooh, fast reflexes. I like it. You know, you shouldn't do that in school, Mr. Leonard. Oh, Mark, it's fine. Nobody's here, anyway. I am here, am I not? Well, then, I can do that to you instead. I'm pretty sure Henry doesn't mind. Uh... Coach Gill approached Mark. He extended his arms, trying to squeeze Mark's chest. Mark swatted his hands away quickly. I'm not in a good mood, Mr. Leonard. You might be my teacher, but I won't hesitate to report you for sexual harassment. Whoa, calm down. Jeez, I was just joking around. What a waste of time. I'm leaving. He headed to the other side of the school gate, leaving the school. Oh, uh, that's... I probably should apologize later. Y yeah, it looks like you should. Well, I'm heading inside. Wanna go with me? No. I feel bad if I leave him alone. I probably should look for him. Ah, you, you go ahead, coach. I'm waiting for someone around here for a bit. Alright. See you later, then. Mm-hmm. I wonder where he went off to. The playground. He asked me to go to a playground out of the blue yesterday. He might not be there, but it's worth a shot. 
He headed outside of the school area. Starting today, you might have a chance to explore the place in certain days. How you spend your time will affect later choices, so spend your time wisely. Some events may be longer than others, and it may change the accessible locations. Sometimes you'll be able to stay at home until evening. If you're feeling lazy, feel free to do so. Note that there are instances when you won't be able to roll back some time, so make sure you've saved your file before proceeding. Okay. Where we go? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Playground! Looks like the playground's in the middle of the fucking forest. Alright. You headed to the playground, hoping you'd find Mark at the playground. You arrived at the playground, but you didn't see Mark anywhere. Not sure where to look anymore, you decided to sit on the swing before heading back to school. I wonder where he went to. Huh. Henry, what are you doing here? Ah! Mark? That's my name. Why didn't you go to school? You shouldn't be here. Neither should you. Huh. I'm not just... I'm just not in the mood. I'm glad I found you here. If I didn't, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Go back to school, I guess. That's fair. How did you know I'm here? Well... You asked me to go here out of the blue yesterday, so I thought you'd be here. Huh, okay. If it's okay to ask, why were you in a bad mood? Am. Huh? Why, why am I in a bad mood, not were? Ah. Anyway, I just woke up in a bad mood, that's all. But the way you reacted to Coach Gill's antics, that wasn't like the usual you. I mean, do you really know how the usual me is? I guess I don't. I don't want to discuss it. Can we talk about, it, talk about something else instead? Ah, right. My bad, and okay. Hmm. He wants to talk about something else, but I don't know what to say. Ah, it's so awkward. Thanks. Anyway. Huh? I said thanks. Oh, ah, uh, don't worry about it. You want to hang out? You want to hang out later? Well, we're hanging out right now. No, we aren't. We're going back to school. Oh, uh, okay. Wait. We're going back? That's not like you at all. So are you going back or not? Fine, fine, we're going back. Cool. Well, we should probably go back to school after <laughs> before class started. Good idea. I don't want to miss any cl any classes, at least not now. He headed back to the school with Mark. He didn't say anything the whole trip to school. Both of you rushed into the school hallway, even though even though it says no running. You were running out of time and Mark was running, so you didn't have a choice. Huh? Oh, why are we running? I don't want to be late! Gah! After some quick jogging, both of you arrived at the front of the classroom. You didn't have to run like that! I might skip classes sometimes, but I am never late. It looks like we're late anyway. Well, it's only been seven minutes. At least we're fashionably late. What? Let's go in! Okay. When you walked in, Mr. Parker had started the class session. He approached him to explain why both of you were late. Ah, it's okay. Coach Gill already told me the situation. You may sit down. Ah, oh, uh, uh okay? Thanks, Mr. Stone. As soon as you sat down, Mr. Parker continued his lecture. <clears throat> so, uh, where were we? Ah, yes. There are, are there any of you that can identify any poetic devices we've talked about? Anyone? Anything? Everyone looked around. It was clear to you that everyone was waiting for someone to speak first. You just entered the class, but the air was the air felt heavy. You raised your hand, trying to ask something. Yes, Mr. Graham. Um, what happened? We were late, so we don't know what you guys were talking about. Right. My bad. He handed you a short pamphlet and told you to look at a poem called Metals, Metals by Russell Edson. Which Russell is this again? Um, this wouldn't happen to be the Russell from uh, A Place to Call Home, would it? <laughs> you scanned through at the poem, reading it in your mind, and he handed it to Mark after you were done. You picked a really heavy poem. I'm a little bit shocked, I think. Mark started saying something, and everyone's attention focused on him. He participated actively in Mr. Parker's class. Class ended. You put your stuff in the backpack. You and Mark were ready to head out, but Mr. Parker stopped both of you. Please, wait in here, you two. Huh? Is something the matter, Mr. Stone? Nothing that you nothing that you have to worry about. I just wanted to ask something about what happened this morning. Oh, that. What is it? What uh what did uh, what did Gil do to you? Ah, oh, he was he was just trying to touch Henry's backside. I saw that and told him that it wasn't appropriate for a teacher to do that to their student. He was trying to touch Henry's bum? He looked at you for a bit, then he looked back to Mark. Is that all? He approached me and tried to touch mine instead. I, I kind of told him if he did that, I wouldn't hesitate to report him for sexual harassment. I see. Okay. That should be enough. Are you okay, though, Henry? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. 
That's nothing new to me. He'd been doing that since I was in high, since I was a high schooler anyway. Well, at least it, I, was, I, was, I was legal by then. Ah, okay. I'm Gilbert, I swear to God. You may go now. Please take care of both of you. Thanks for your concern, Mr. Stone. Have a good day. Let's go, Henry. Ah, oh, okay. Thanks, Mr. Parker. Mark sort of drags you to go out with him. Wait a minute. What now? Never mind. Okay. See you tomorrow, Mr. Parker. Yeah. You left the classroom with Mark. Well, more like Mark dragged you again out of the classroom. Well, you said we're going to hang out. Where do you want to go? Would you mind if we stop by the cafeteria first? I'm hungry. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go. We gotta be fast. It should be raining anytime soon. It should be raining anytime soon. I don't want us to be stuck here. All right. This place smells good, as always. I have to agree. It makes my mouth water every time. You don't see water in your mouth. You know what I mean. Just teasing you. Well, you find some place to sit. And I'll get something for both of us. Ah, here's my money. Get, some, get me something tasty. There's no need. Just keep it. I insist. I can't let you keep treating me every time we eat. Huh. Okay, fine. Shoo, shoo. Get some place for us to sit on. What? You shooed me off? I'm a sad pupper. I'll give you all the attention later. It's crowded. Getting some place to sit down is our first priority. Hmm. Fine. I wasn't expecting attention anyway. You didn't? Okay. You did as Mark instructed. It wasn't easy to find somewhere to sit as it was really crowded. One place was not that crowded. It was as you expected, where Anders sat. You wondered if Anders would, would let both of you sit there. I guess I should just have it. I just I, I guess blah. I guess I sh I guess I just have to ask. You squeezed your way through, finally reaching Anders. Hey, Anders. Oh, hey, Henry. You're by yourself. Oh no, Mark's getting food for us. Would you mind if we sit here? It's okay. It's not like anybody's going to sit here anyway. Thanks. Don't mind if I do then. With Anders' permission, you sat down and waited for Mark. He tried to come up with a conversation, but it seemed like Anders didn't want to talk. Soon after, Mark came, bring Mark came bringing the food. For some reason, he looked a little bit surprised. Hey, Anders, what are you doing here? Oh, Mark, it's the only available seat, uh, so I just asked if it's okay for us to sit here. Thankfully, he said yes, so we have somewhere to sit. <clears throat> ah, one sec. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go if you two don't like it. Psh, that's fine. I'll sit down. You two go to the same class? Basically, yeah. We're both in the same English class. We're just gonna hang out after this. Where to? I'll, I'll let Henry decide. Uh, I don't know yet. I, I'll think of it as we eat. I see. Okay. Is it just me, or does the air here suddenly feel a little bit tense? How about you, Anders? You're going with us? I... You can! Huh? Alright, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!